Okay, so books. So the holidays are coming up, so I thought now would be a great time to talk about some things that would make great gifts for someone that's into recording and audio. So maybe you want to suggest these to your family as gift ideas for you, or maybe you're searching for gift ideas for someone that's interested in audio and you just stumbled upon this video. Either way, you found the right video. So if you haven't seen the video that I made last year on gift ideas for audio engineers, then you should check that out too, because I talk about all sorts of things for audio engineers in that, not just books. So I'll put a card up on the screen so that you can find that video too. And as is the practice for videos like this, I'll supply links in the description to all of these books for you guys. So check out the description, please. So with that said, let's talk about some of my favorite coffee table books that I've seen over the years. The first book that I want to talk about is the Thousand Recordings to Hear Before You Die book. So this one might be one of the most dense books on my list because it's very text heavy and light on the photos, but I own this book myself and I love it and I think it's a great one to browse while on a break or waiting around. It's a nice thick book full of information on great recordings throughout history and I love it. Number two is going to be a few books and they're Sylvia Massey's books. So if you guys have been watching my channel for a while now, you might be kind of sick of hearing about Sylvia Massey's books but I have a lot of respect for her as an audio engineer and I love her books. So she has her book recording on Hinge, which I own and I highly recommend. It's a beautiful book with tons of great art and photos in it and it's all about recording techniques, including some of her amazing wacky and fun techniques. She also has a couple of coloring books that I don't own yet, but they look great. So I'm gonna include the links to those in the description as well. Number three is The Rap Year Book. This book is amazing and I need to get myself a copy. So it goes from 1979 to almost the present and does a discussion and analysis of the song the author Shea Serrano deems the most important rap song for each year. It's funny, entertaining, and full of information. It also has some amazing illustrations throughout. It's so good that it's gonna be turned into a documentary for AMC sometime this year. And to be honest, it might be out already, so I'll have to check. And it's also a New York Times bestseller. It was picked by Billboard as one of the 100 greatest music books of all time. And and it was picked for Pitchfork's book club's first selection. So yeah, I'm putting this on my wish list this year for sure. For number four, I'm gonna combine multiple books into one again here because they're both record cover books that I've seen around and I really think they're great. So there's the art record covers book and then there's also the thousand record covers book. I don't personally own these books, but I've seen them around and they're great. They're full of amazing art and totally on theme for a sound studio or music nerd's home. Record art is a really interesting cultural phenomenon in and of itself and these books really highlight that. Okay, and finally number five is another book that I own already and that's the the Vox art book. It's all art without any information on music or anything, but it has a great cartoon anime style of art. And most of the art in the book has some sort of music influence. So it's a lot of fun. I found it in a shop somewhere, but I also found it on Amazon for you guys. And I'm not really gonna do a number six here, but you can always throw something that's more of a textbook and less of a coffee table book out on the table for people to enjoy. I have a whole collection of textbooks that I use like that sometimes, like the New Grove Dictionary of Jazz is a great one that I have and use that way. So throwing that out there on the coffee table is definitely more of a nerdy academic move, but I love that. And I mean, maybe that's your style too. Anyway, maybe I'll do a video sometime on some good textbooks that I really like. So that's it guys, thanks for watching. I hope that you guys liked this video and please let me know what you think in the comments below. For today's question, I wanna know what is your favorite book that's relevant to audio or music? It doesn't have to be a coffee table book. So please leave your answers in the comments below. My favorite book is Musicophilia, which is all about music and sound and the brain. And it's written by Oliver Sacks, who was this amazingly smart neurologist. And if you've ever seen the movie Awakenings, that's based on one of his books that's all about an experience that he had as a neurologist. So I'll put a link to Music Ophelia in the description too. It's the best book ever. So anyway, thanks guys. As usual, if you like this video, please tell all your friends about my channel, which is still currently ad free by the way. Uh, watch my other videos or check out my Patreon. I'll be coming out with new videos every other Wednesday and thanks for watching. Okay. Or you could just put out Marlon Bundo. I made this, I slaved over this design for hours and hours and hours. And I'm kind of proud of it. The C is actually a speaker cone. So that's kind of fun. Anyway, if you can't see the whole shirt, I'll like post an image of the design or something. So if you like the designs, I mean, check out my Threadless store, uh, kato.threadless.com. I got a few designs up there. You guys might like them. Uh, 
you know, this page being ad free is kind of code for I'm demonetized. So that's fun. It's like still wrinkly from the package because I haven't washed it yet. But um, yeah, check out my shirt. Woo. Maybe I'll stand up. Anyway. Woo.